With the Google Wallet API, you can build many different types of passes to issue your users, from event tickets to loyalty cards to collectibles and more. But no matter what type of pass you're building, almost every one of them is built from two components, a passes class and a passes object. Both of these are defined in JSON format and have a set of required and optional properties that correspond to the specific use case intended for that pass type. A passes class is like a shared template used to create one or more passes you'll be issuing to your users that defines common layout and field values that the Google Wallet API will apply to all the passes that reference it. And anytime you make a change to an instance of a passes class, those changes will be reflected across all passes that reference it. For example, let's say you're building tickets for a concert. The passes class is where common values like the event name, date, location, and venue are set. Every passes class also requires a unique ID, which is made up of your issuer ID, followed by a dot and a string of your choice. You'll use this ID anytime you want to create a pass based on that passes class. Next, let's look at passes objects. While passes classes specify shared properties to be used across multiple passes, passes objects specify the unique details of a specific pass that you want to issue to a specific user. Going back to our concert ticket, each event ticket object instance specifies the unique properties for each person's ticket, like their assigned seat location and the price of their ticket. To apply the template values from an instance of a passes class to a passes object, all you have to do is provide its ID in the class ID field, and the Google Wallet API will use it, along with your passes object to create the new pass. Like passes classes, passes objects also require a unique ID in the same format using your issuer ID, followed by a dot in a string of your choice. Once you've created a passes object, all you have to do is encode it in a JSON web token, sign the JWT with your credentials, then issue the pass to your user with an Add to Google Wallet button or link. All that's left is to sit back and enjoy the show. For more details on working with passes classes and objects, including code samples, tutorials, and more, check out the documentation linked below.